The Greek victory at Salamis sent Xerxes back to Persia. Greece and Persia signed the Treaty of Calais in 449 BCE, and the Persians agreed to stay out of the Greek city-states in Asia Minor and the Aegean Islands. It left the Greek city-states free to resume their independent lifestyle. One remarkable thing about the Persian Wars was the development of Greek nationalism. Citizen armies of the 31 Greek city-states decided to fight together for the first time when they could have surrendered and agreed to become Persian subjects to save themselves. The effort cut across social and economic divisions in Greece, since the Greek forces included aristocrats and hoplites who had to supply their own armor and weapons, and thousands of poor men who rode the warships. The decision to fight demonstrated courage and a deep devotion to political freedom. However, the most important effect of the Persian Wars was the establishment of the Delian Lake. This happened because many believed the Persian Empire remained a threat. It was located on the island of Delos near Athens because Sparta needed to keep its army close to home to defend against Helot revolt, Athens was chosen as the leader of the lake. Each of the member states was supposed to contribute a certain number of soldiers and or ships to the effort. Since these times seemed more peaceful, some of the members decided just to contribute funds. Unfortunately, Athens began to assert its dominance over the league. They used league funds to rebuild and beautify their city, and used force to prevent any member from leaving. The Delian League eventually became the Athenian Empire. Athens' intention to take the lead over the Delian League was revealed in the following factors. The treasury was transferred from Delos to Athens. The rebuilding of Athens, its shipbuilding and construction programs are attributed to this influx of money. Trials concerning League matters took place in Athens. This obliged the allies to travel to Athens and appear in Athenian courts in order to resolve their differences. And finally, Athens issued a decree banning the mining of silver by allied cities. This made Athenian coins the currency of the lake. Severe sanctions on every city who failed to comply with this measure were written in each agora of all allied cities. The Athenian statesman and champion of sailors, Themistocles, promoted the construction of Athenian walls and making Piraeus a major harbor. The long walls were built from Athens to Piraeus, securing a connection to the sea even during siege. This occurred despite Sparta's opposition. Anger at Athenian dominance led to the Peloponnesian War between Sparta and its allies and Athens as, and its allies. Sparta and Athens, although they were allies briefly, differences drove them apart. Athens grew more powerful and Sparta grew jealous. The government fell, trade dropped, and city-states began fighting with each other. Sparta eventually defeated its major rival and took control of the leadership of Greece. <laughs>